Thank you for joining an episode of 10 Minutes Ten with Tinian. We are doing this one live on the Tinian Reproductions page, but it will be posted later on the Tinian Reproductions page on YouTube. So I am here with Shavard Granham. Shavard is with Granham and Associates, and he is a retirement solutions specialist advisor. Excuse me. He's also a practice owner in Florida, as well as a broker. So thank you so much, Shavard, for joining 10 Minutes with Tinian. Thanks, Tinian. Glad to be here. So Shavard and I talked last week and we had a great conversation just understanding his experience in the overall aspects of your retirement and your money management, financial solutions. So I wanted to let him tell you a little bit more about himself and then I um, am sure that you'll get some value out of this. So Shavard, tell us a little bit about your business and your area of expertise and how you got into it. Yeah, um, and I'll try to keep that short. So. Um, <laughs> been in the industry since 2009 and um, I, I started working in the um, in the 403B, 457 space dealing with essentially the, uh, the retirement plan companies that uh, put in place uh, the plans for teachers and um, pretty much K-12 uh, public education and, uh, employers. Um, you know, the, the company that I was with primarily did that, so that gave me an opportunity to see how the work of uh, retirement planning was done on that and all the way down to uh, individual consultations, individual needs. Uh, so from then going forward, I've grown into the retirement plan space very well. I've uh, taken value and practice uh, with uh, independent, brokerage, uh, independent brokerage, which simply means not having any uh, mandate or uh, having any need to only provide only one uh, uh, firm or one financial company or whatnot, just being able to truly uh, do what's in the best interest of the client, no matter what the what the provider is. So um, I've always positioned myself to function in that way um, over the years, and that has proven excellent results for people uh, that I work with um, because they know that um, at the end of the day, we're really working to make sure that we're proving and vetting their solutions to, to do what's right for them with where they're at and where they're going. So many people with everything that's going on right now, um, working from home and doing different things like that, have probably been doing more research and, and investing and doing things of that nature, trying to kind of understand their 401k. What would be some of the tips that you would give to someone uh, regarding their their retirement plan? Sure. Um, as a financial professional, a retirement plan professional, uh, of course, I'd say the number one thing would be to uh, elect a trustworthy, licensed and experienced professional who is very well versed and well rounded regarding both retirement planning and estate planning. Um, because with, between both, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in between for uh, investment uh, acumen and insurance acumen and tax acumen. And, Right. Um, legal stuff that's involved. So doing things the right way uh, from the right paradigm for you, um, you're gonna you're gonna get that with with a with an expert professional uh, that you talk with on a personal basis. Because um, generalized information can be hurtful. It could cause people right. to look at their situation from the eyes of somebody else's circumstance, um, while you know forgetting a couple of nuances that they have that kind of disqualifies them from something that they may see that's generalized. So um, talk about financial professional, number one. Number two, uh, get get online access to your benefits. 
and online access to really all your stuff, a lot of times um, we kind of forget to check on our things online and we do everything else online, but we don't uh, it, we don't really easily access uh, those elements of our lives. So choosing to get online access so it's simple to look at. And when things are simple to look at, we tend to look, at, tend it. To look at it a little bit more frequently. And the more that we look at things, the more questions that we'll have. More questions that right. we have will sharpen up our conversations. So um, taking advantage of the day and age that we live in, take advantage of the online access, having a financial professional, um, and then and last, I would say, um, take ownership in the things that you find really, really important and don't kid yourself. Meaning if right. you are a certain age, let's say that you're, you are 43 years old and um, you understand based on looking at mom and dad or auntie and uncle or your mentor or your boss and kind of saying, you know, the average age of people around you that have retired and the circumstances around those things, whether it be by force or by choice or by uh you know family dynamic you know changing that causes somebody to retire earlier uh something happening uh that has that causes somebody to to work a little bit longer than you thought they would work pay attention to your surroundings and normalize conversations regarding retirement plan experiences so that um again it it, it sharpens up the conversation uh it it improves the the questions improves the thinking um so when it comes to uh, making decisions, you're, you're better informed because you've talked, you have that expert in your corner, that professional or that you trust and you have objective conversations with. Um, and uh, you, you, you've gotten into the practice of looking at your uh, situation uh, from a more uh, specified standpoint, right? Something that's unique to you. What would you say is the number one thing that keeps most people from seeking a financial advisor? I ask that often. Uh, and the, the, I think one of the most redundant answers to that is just life getting in the way. Uh, always meaning to, but never getting around to it. Um, that, I, I think it's really that simple. Life gets in the way, uh, you know, between kids and career changes by force or by choice, uh, family dynamic change. Life, life can get a little crazy, you know, pandemic. Right. Look, at, uh, yeah, look at the no, climate no, no, look, that we're in now. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, life, life comes best fast and, and, and being uh, swayed to put things on the back burner because it feels too heavy to deal with. Right. That's honestly the most redundant reason that I come across as, as far as why people put it off. Um, it's, it's, it's not so much uh, a fear of talking to a professional. Eh, that, that can happen. We're all human, so there are some people that where that's a thing. Um, but it's really just dealing with life. So in my practice, I, I speak to that and I talk about advocacy and, and the type of communication that's, uh, that we should really be having with financial professionals, um, the frequency, the, the, the topics. Uh, right. that uh, they need to let people in on, let a professional in on, um, yeah. Occasionally I get the, um, oh, so it's funny. Uh, if, it's, if it's an in-person introduction, let's say that it's a um, after hours, happy hour situation, somebody introduces me and you know mention I'm a retirement planner they say oh yo I need one of those but when it's online and let's say that somebody referred me or if I'm uh, somebody connected with me online and I and I reach out just for a voice to voice conversation so we can get to know one another it's oh I think I'm good I, I, uh, I I'm all set up I have a 401k and kind of like give me a bunch of stuff I didn't even ask for mm-hmm. um, so there, there I think it's uh I think it's kind of a mix of just natural nerves of being uh, 
Yeah, it could be a, a past experience of being kind of put in the corner or put up against the wall to right. try something from maybe not even somebody from my industry, but just in general, um, having those types of odd experiences with, uh, with, I guess, salespeople. Right. Um, well, tell people kind of what are the steps when um, partnering with Branham and Associates specifically? I know you have kind of a way that you like to build that rapport and understand the needs of, of someone specifically. Yeah, well, I, I work in a space where things are always changing. There's always something going on, uh, for better or for worse. And having a conversation, um, an occasional conversation with a retirement planner and an investment professional and an insurance guy, um, just having a conversation about what's going on lately, because I assure you there's always something going on. Right. And at the time, it relates to your life in some way or another. Um, and, and sometimes more uh, in a bigger way than you may expect, um, whether whether it be a tax law uh, changing or or it might being modified or or um, uh, a very little uh, use you know tax strategy or, or investment strategy based on uh, a recent poll taken um, and uh, you know there's a huge opportunity in one with one financial service that just for years it's been underutilized when it really shouldn't be mm -hmm. uh just again having a conversation about what's going on lately is a great uh position it's a great uh way to to get into these conversations um because it's not diving in about your own situation necessarily and your details it's it's mainly what's going on lately from a general standpoint and then um, if you're comfortable and you trust the person, let them in, in your world a little bit. Let them know what your experiences are, what you've done, what you're proud of, what you're not so proud of, and um, and go from there. And, and just be open to looking at a solution. Um, I do tell my clients that um, whether it be my client or somebody who's considering me, I am always open to them uh, taking that lunch meeting or taking that phone call um, with that other financial advisor, that other right. retirement plan. Um, because you know, how else are you going to learn? How else are you going to, you know, know other things that are out there um, unless you unless you just have that conversation and not be so uh, uh, defensive uh, of your of your of your time and your attention? Because we all know there's a lot of stuff in life that we give attention to that's not that healthy. Right. Um, I assure you talking to a, a financial advisor is not one of those things. I assure you that. Um, so, <laughs> Just keeping those types of things in mind and, and again, normalizing the conversation, welcoming the conversation when it comes to ideas and solutions. And um, along the way, when something makes sense to you and things are properly vetted, uh, uh -huh. make changes as you should. Or don't make changes because you were diligent enough to find out what's going on and to rule it out. Certainly, certainly. So knowing that you have, uh, not, uh, you know, a wealth of information and can help people in a, a numerous amount of ways. Let me say, if you guys are interested in reaching out to Shavar, he is with Branham and Associates and can answer questions that you have around your 401k or your retirement plan and more. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, BranhamAssociates.com is my website. Uh, it's Two words put together, Branham, B-R-A-N-A-M, associates with Nessa Bien, dot com. Uh, I'm also on social media with a unique name like Shavard. It's um, kind of easy to find. So uh, S-H-A-V-A-R-D. Uh, you can type that name in anywhere, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and you'll see you'll see me at Shavard B or Shavard Branham. Uh, you'll see my smiling uh, face on the profile picture <laughs> welcome to you awesome. uh, and hard. linkedin and linkedin so yeah linkedin <laughs> facebook twitter linkedin linkedin's probably the best platform for inboxing um but yeah we welcome uh, emails phone calls uh social media inboxing but you know at the end of the day we just want you to get the information that you need to make in, you know informed decisions and stay up to date education education is yeah. important education and tools Oh, yes. I really appreciate you, Shamar. Yes, it goes by quickly. We look forward to talking with you again. Um, and uh, again, make sure you uh, reach out, Branham Associates.com. 
Yes, ma'am. And we thank you so much for having your time and attention on 10 Minutes with Tinian. And, and uh, again, thank you guys for watching. This will be available on YouTube. And uh, have a lovely day. <laughs> <laughs>